Wow, so big. Um, all right, uh, can everybody hear me? I talk kind of loud, so. Love the gill sounds. What's that? Great typeface. Thank, thank you, it's default uh, for Keynote. Um, this is how to use Python to get money in chicks and why it will work for you. Um, basically, it's just a kind of a quick story of, of how I um, done succeeded in my, my life. It all started with a bot. Um, basically an IRC bot. There's, there's a lot of IRC channels that basically have um, a lot of really neat people who are running all the cool companies out there. And it turns out if you talk to a lot of cool people and you write cool free software for them, they will invite you to lots of parties and they'll be your friends and stuff like that. So if you do cool stuff for, free, for cool people, they will like you. <laughs> Python makes it really easy to do cool stuff. Like, really, really easy. So uh, Python gets you invited to parties. Um, I got invited to a, to a party that basically got me into a big conference for free. Um, at that big conference, I talked to a guy who later became my boss up in Vancouver. Um, got hired uh, the next day, basically, at the, par at the conference. Um, basically, so that took about a solid week of, of refactoring in Python um, to make a, a bot that was a little bit cooler and possibly better. It, it broke a couple things, but uh, nobody really used those features anyway, so I don't think a lot of people met, noticed. Um, Basically, the channel loved me. Um, everybody, you know, every time someone had like a pet feature they wanted, I was able to like integrate it quickly. You know, Amazon search. Um, I could do upcoming if I really wanted to. Um, any of that stuff, pretty quick. Technorati. Um, and people who want quality work from, you know, uh, for for cheap, basically they pamper you. They tell you, you know, um, yeah, you get to go to these cool things and do this cool stuff, and basically you get known for it. Uh, so I got to go to lots of parties, <laughs> um, and like this sort of thing. I, as you may have met me so far, I do like parties. Um, parties have chicks. <laughs> so, I get hired, and now I also get to go to lots of cool parties. And I meet people, and I go to lots of cool parties. I like to talk about Python. So parties have chicks. Lots and lots of chicks. Um, oh, what? Uh, that's actually not written in Python. That, yeah, but um, anyway, it's actually cool now to be a programmer. Um, if you're in the Bay Area, everybody actually respects programmers, and they actually kind of think you're cool. They, they know you do cool stuff and possibly work at a cool company. Um, not just male, other, pro other male programmers. There's actually girls who do think programming is cool. Uh, there might be a few in here. Girls? Anybody? Huh? 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 <laughs> anyway, well, there's not too many, too many here. Um, cool programmers program Python. That's a well-established fact. And uh, cool programmers get hired. So also, don't forget open source. Uh, open source is actually what cool programmers program. Programming that's not open source is actually not cool. Um, <laughs> Your code is like an artist portfolio. So if you're open source, basically everybody can come to your uh, come to your website, see everything you do. It's like just like having beautiful pictures or beautiful artwork. They know uh, that you can actually do something well. Python code actually looks cleaner and better than just about every other programming language out there. Um, so it, you look like you write really clean code, really nice code, because you actually probably might be. Um, and money havers and chicks do dig open source now. Um, it's it's becoming like a pretty established business model among you know some up and comers. You know. So recap, in order to get money in chicks with Python, so money plus chicks, uh, she's actually right there, anyone wants to see, um, equals, actually not really, um, <laughs> Python. So that's the uh, secret. Any questions? Can, can the same model be applied to Perl or PHP? No, it cannot. How about, how about Ruby? Um, Ruby for the next couple months. How about Perl with Spiffy? Perl with Spiffy is pretty cool. Um, you still have to say you write Perl though, so that's going to be tough to do at parties. Let's go Perl! Uh, how, how do you merge the ideas of Perl not being cool and, and the Goat Team module? Um, <laughs> I want to see that again. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, just because I do definitely like to try to goat see the IRC channel whenever possible at parties. So we can leave that up until my time runs out. Um, <laughs> and uh, that's really all I have. So thank you all. <laughs>